Well, how's it going there, everybody? It's John Q here from TechnoBuffalo.com, and welcome to What's the Apps, a simple little app review show here in TechnoBuffalo with a rather fancy name, don't you think? Today, we're going to venture into Android OS to take a look at an application called Smart Keyboard. Thanks to the totally awesome John Rettinger for sending me the Google Nexus One so that I can finally experience Android firsthand. Now, I am a very big UI and functionality person, and to be honest, I'm still having some trouble adjusting to Android OS, mainly because because I've become so used to, you know, the other guy. Right off the bat, I noticed that the typing experience wasn't as fluid. Maybe it's because the Nexus One is pretty old compared to the newer guys, but the multi-touch screen didn't feel like it could keep up with my obscene tap tap tapping. And on top of that, I didn't really like how the default keyboard looked. From what I've heard, I knew Android was very, very customizable. You can change the icons, the keyboard layout, whatever. So I started doing some research on keyboard alternatives. After reading a bunch of reviews and downloading various apps from the marketplace, I settled on an app called Smart Keyboard. And let me tell you, this thing is a masterpiece. Anything and everything you can think of to customize your keyboard, you can do with Smart Keyboard. The only thing that's really missing would be an implementation of a swipe style typing feature, which is totally understandable because, you know, copyright and whatnot. There were three things I knew I wanted to do right away. Change the keyboard skin, change the keyboard sounds, and somehow make the spacebar bigger. Smart Keyboard has a great selection of skins to choose from. Most of them look very default and very native, which is something I really, really appreciate. In terms of functionality, the HTC or the Samsung skin would probably be the best ones. Personally, I stuck with the black skin to give my Nexus that Windows Phone 7 feel, cause I'm cool like that. Next keyboard sounds. Ever since I started using a mechanical keyboard, I've become very particular on typing mechanics and feedback. Plus, I've really taken a liking to that awesome clicky clicky sound. Okay, the default Android keyboard sounds aren't bad, but I wanted something a little bit less tinny sounding. Smart keyboard lets you choose between the default Android sound, the iPhone sound, and the Samsung sound. The Samsung sound seems to work best for me as it's loud enough to be audible, but it's not too loud where it's annoying. Lastly, the spacebar. I always seem to miss a spacebar when I type. I have no idea why. Android's default spacebar size is a little squished as uh, there's that voice input button, but with smart keyboard, I was able to remove it. Plus, I can move the comma and the period to the symbols area for maximum keyboard ponage. Beautiful. As an added bonus, you can also increase the padding size on the bottom for more room. You can go totally crazy with this one. Oh yes. The things I mentioned only scratch the surface of what smart keyboard can do. You can also do T9 mode, compact mode, arrows, transparency, key height, user dictionary, smart dictionary, additional language support, gestures, calibration, add more skins, all of these fancy text prediction options, and much, 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 much more. Best of all, it's totally free. The only downside is that the free version has a pop-up every now and then saying, oh, if you don't want to see this pop-up again, buy the full version. It didn't say that, but, but that's a gist of what it said. According to Market, the paid version is 276 Canadian. To be honest, I only saw that pop-up thing once, so it's not too bad, but I'm probably going to pick up the pro version anyways, as should you, because I rate Smart Keyboard a solid 5 out of 5 for its functionality, usability, customizability, and because the skins, they look really, really pretty. So if you want to jazz up your Android typing experience, seriously check out Smart Keyboard. And thank you very much for checking out this episode of What's the Apps. This was John. John Q from Techno Buffalo. Have yourselves a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.